Welcome to the Sam Livecast. I'm Sam, and I can't see anything in my monitors. Not that it's a problem. It's okay for you, because I believe you can see me. Now I can see me. Now we're all good. And you look pretty, don't you? I do look pretty. Well, I put powder on, because you said that I was... Uh, it's a hot day in San Diego. It's a hot day. And we all get a little sweaty when it's hot. We do. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, shit. Obviously, you can tell by what I'm wearing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I'm, boiling, I'm boiling over water here. We still don't know what you're doing back there. You don't need to know. Okay. I'm kind of... Do you remember I promised... Um, I promised a one ingredient recipe mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. It's still three ingredient week, everybody. I promised a one ingredient recipe, and this is it. It's in that pot that we'll talk about in, uh, in a little bit. But, but I had to start it a while ago. So when we get to it, we get to it. So mm. it's just water. Is it just boiling water? It could just be boiling. It is actually boiling water, but there's something in it. Oh, oh. that's too ingredient. Well, before we get to Come on now. No, no, no. <laughs> Lynn, don't do that. Before we get distracted. Yes. Tell the people who we are, what we do, and oh, where they can find us. Every night? Yes, They're already every watching. Night. Every night. Why? They're already watching. Every night. You do it tonight. We are the Sam Livecast. That guy right there to the left of me is Sam the Cooking Guy. You can interact with us at Facebook.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy. Tweet us at the Cooking Guy. Interact with all of us. We're all here. And... Shannon's back. That's it. Shannon's back. Exactly. What's hey, up, Shannon? Good to be back, guys. It's been like way too long. It's been yeah. way too long. Welcome back, Shannon. Thank you. Uh, people ask about Steve. Steve is taking a uh, hiatus or something. He's going away. He's away all the time. He's basically away all of the time. And having another child in a in, uh, month and a half or something. So yeah, he doesn't love us anymore. And him, no, and him being away was nothing new to uh, the first year of the show. They were in Brazil and in China right, and right, India right, right, shooting right. stuff for Qualcomm. So right. we, we, we can make do. We will make do. Uh, hey, so I don't know, lots, lots of things to talk about. Thanks for being here. Three ingredient week lives. The little, uh, the little hoisin chicken things from last night were outstanding. And, we the, and the lesson there is, as I think I said, you can put anything in pie dough, seal it up, throw it in the oven for 25 minutes, and it will be great mm -hmm. my brother and i made them after the oh, show oh i gave back you took the leftovers did you do anything else you were going to experiment cheese, cheese you added some cheese yeah we didn't have much else to experiment with but no. uh we had cheese and it was awesome so sticking to the three ingredient rule i did the pie dough and i filled it with uh, shredded chicken and hoisin sauce the extra things i would have put in look at them mm. uh, look God, at the look flaky good. crisp uh, oh, it's awesome. so good wow. And you know, I'm trying to eat so well, I had two of them and that was it. And they weren't very big. Um, no. Are they really that terrible <laughs> you for Lynn, you? Lynn went, no. Yeah, I, that's why I had to photograph them large. because <laughs> <laughs> Lynn only got, what, two? Aww. I got two also. They were delicious. Two. I could have eaten the whole train. I know, could have eaten. Right? Like, they're, an, they're a perfect little appetizer. They're or, a perfect little appetizer. Or like a, you know, a late night meal. Or like a hundred of them for a late night meal. And they're right. really damn easy. So the, oh, here's what I would have added. I would have added a little sriracha and some, uh, a little chopped green onion. Yeah. And, and cheese would have been okay. It wouldn't have been funky, I don't think, with the hoisin thing. Though Asian <laughs> food and cheese doesn't normally go together. I think that would have worked. There's a pizza that I do that has cheese on it and a hoisin kind of thing with some chicken. It works out great, so. Hey. Mm. on facebook.com mm. slash Sam the mm. cooking guy yep, yep, if yep. someone guesses what's in your pot because once they mention it I kind of figured what it was do you, do you want me to talk about it do you want me to not talk about it uh, has somebody guessed I think someone's guessed it let's hear it Don Kowalski says oh I bet it's sweetened condensed milk in the pot but how would he how in the world would he have ever known that uh, Don, Don is right. Where does, how, where does Don live tell me how know. he knows where do you he live Don he lives Don? in Chicago look at right there near oh, Chicago near, yeah. Illinois that's cool. I'll I, send him something. Would, I just, don't, would you have him, uh, uh, Don, send us an email at info at the Sam and I'll send you some. Here's my question. Yeah, that, one of my, that milk must have been sitting on the table in the pre-live, right? I think it was. It was. It's, you can't it it just, was, and I moved it. So, okay, But whatever. Okay. Powers of observation. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Um, so here's what we're making. And this is in the, my second cookbook, uh, the Shortcut Cookbook. Mm -hmm. it's, I say it's the only one ingredient recipe that I know. You take this can and you put it in boiling water for two and a half to three hours. You have to keep it covered with, with boiling water. If the water 
drops down low and it's a dry can in the hot pot will blow up it'll blow and you don't want that so you keep it covered with boiling water three hours at the end of the three hours you're going to see that'll be around 6 30 whatever 20 quarter seven you take the top off and you've got the most amazing rich toffee caramel colored flavored like thick ass pudding you've ever had really wow. and when we used to make it when i was a kid and you would just take the top off well they didn't have these then you had to use the can opener you take the top off and then you just take a spoon full out of it and you would slowly just lick it off the spoon oh my god it's okay. i can't wait to try i've always wow. been scared because of the explosion the, the blowing up part yeah the key is you just keep it covered with water and it's fine that's been there since quarter to four and like two minutes before we started a live cast, I had a small pot of boiling water that I filled that thing up with mm. to make sure. I'll check it in about 10 minutes or so just to make sure. So if we hear a giant boom. <laughs> Dude, it won't just be hearing the giant boom. You will see that pudding, caramel, toffee crap fly everywhere. And it'll be This terrible. has happened to you before, hasn't it? <laughs> it happened to my brother. Oh, oh. no. Hey, it for those that don't know me, uh, what's the difference between condensed milk and... I don't know, regular milk? Uh, it's the sweet part. So sweetened, sweetened condensed milk. And you can't, if I do this right by my mic, this mic. Mm-hmm. You can kind of hear it. No, you hear me. You don't really hear it. It's thick. The stuff is very thick. Let me tell you the ingredients. Milk, sugar. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's wow. it. But that's it. So it's milk that's been thickened with sugar. It'll pour out, it'll pour out kind of, kind of thickish just by itself, but it gets badass when it does its thing. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Cooking competition. So yeah. Monday, so we decided we'd have a cooking competition right here on the Sam Livecast. Uh, eight contestants would compete two at a time right behind me. During a live cast, they'd have 45 minutes. Each contestant would be able to spend $25. We'll give them the $25. We'll give them a Sam the Cooking Sorry, uh, this uh, Sam Livecast chef's jacket to use for the uh, the competition and to keep. Uh, the winner of each of those four competitions will go to the semis. The winner of the two semis will go towards the finale that will be at Fixtures Living here in San Diego with an audience and ch- fans and cheering and all kinds of fun. Now, do they have to be like you with no professional training? Yes, they can't be professionals. Well, in cool. fact, uh, I said no today to... Uh, the somebody who asked, he goes, I haven't cooked professionally since 2002. Is that a problem? Mm, yeah. but he still has the he went to, he went to Johnson and Wales culinary school and he cooked in restaurants up until 2002, not cooked since 2002. And I said, yeah, I think that's not cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had a couple people that write food blogs. That's not a professional cook. They can be in the competition. So you can enter up until Monday at 12 noon. Send us a one minute video to info at the samlivecast.com telling us why you should be in the competition. You don't have to cook in it. I don't want you to cook in it. I don't, it's not really about what you're gonna show me then. I just wanna see that you wanna be in. Show me a little fun side of you, that's it. Mm-hmm. Me, Max, and Lynn uh, will sit down, we'll analyze, we'll decide who's going to be in this thing, mm-hmm. and then we'll tell you Monday night. So this is like Master Chef. And you're, it's like Master you're Chef. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Well, we <laughs> all, the you're gonna be. <laughs> three of us, because you have to have an odd number of, of, uh, yes. of tasters. One yeah. of us got to be really right. nice, one of us got to be the bad cop. Right. Yes. <laughs> and we'll figure out what those roles are. But let me say, we went from, well, I believed we went from, you know, one the other day. We now have, I think, 10. Oh. Now, part of the problem is, I believe that the info at the samlivecast.com was set to automatically come to my regular email. Uh, Turns out that it wasn't. So the whole time oh. where you were going, there's, there's been, so many contestants we right. have. In fact, in go, fact, uh, all the time I've been bitching. Mm-hmm. We've had multiple. Lynn. Yeah. Will you play that Chris Brown uh, video? Not, not the artist Chris Brown, but... Not the artist Chris Brown. So we get a video from uh, a guy named Chris Brown in Littleton, Colorado. Mm-hmm. Based on my bitching about nobody entering the competition, here's what it is. You can turn it up. Hey, my name is Chris Brown. I'm from Littleton, Colorado. And I'm not going to be able to be in your little cooking contest. 
just because I don't live in San Diego and I am so surprised nobody from San Diego has gotten off their lazy ass and gotten into the competition because I think it'd be pretty fun if you did it. I got about a dozen things I'd like to cook with you guys, but hey, maybe sometime when I visit, I'll stop on by. But get those San Diego people off their ass. <laughs> okay, you know what? Yes, I like. Nice. I can't tell you something. I w if he lived here, I would be friends with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like him, and it's not because he's got that little thing right here. I just <laughs> like. I like that he he he. Uh, was like not going to enter, and he chose to send a video anyways. And you notice he was holding his own camera, yeah. right? Super freaking steady. He did a he really was, good job. I true. like his style. And I like that he didn't just put it here and talk to it. I like that he walked through his kitchen with it. Mm -hmm. I felt like the camera was here and there was a cocktail in there. He even added a little really bit of effects. Did you see? He did he a really like nice Chris job. Brown I know. He, had, he really gave himself a little graphic at the beginning mm -hmm. of it. It was really nice. So thank you, Chris. He's Thank calling you, you out, people. If I appreciate you're in that. Southern California, we expect you <laughs> That's to participate. All right. Yeah. Uh, Facebook, two days ago, I wrote. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, man. I'm watching the news. I'm sitting here watching the news. Can you find what I said? Yeah, we'll get it. Because, because there's something significant about the people that commented. or the, Just heard the news talking about a tighter gun control bill and how it would affect assault rifle owners. All I can think of is why the hell anyone needs an assault rifle anyway. Okay, so look, I'm from Canada, right? We're not big gun people up there. I personally don't, I don't really dig guns. People want to have a gun, whatever, that's okay. The assault rifle moniker. And whether it's a mislabel or not, I think it's a terror. It just sounds bad, mm -hmm. assault right? Assault rifle. An assault rifle. If they called it a pokey rifle, I'd probably be okay with it. <laughs> but the term sounds like what its intention is. So I put that on there. I'm watching the news, and, and the news, whatever thing comes, you know, they do. Coming up at 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock or whatever the hell it was. They tell about the, the, this. They say this. News at 10, blah, blah, blah. Sulk and out's going to change, blah. And I go, wow, that's crazy. Why do people even need them? And I put that on there. I just put, it's a thought out of my head. <laughs> well, go back. How many people have commented no, no, no. now? If I scroll real fast, not reading anything, look how many paragraphs but have that's, been written. But that's the look thing. I, oh wait, people, people respond to things that I say all the time, but never with such fervor. Fever? Fervor? fervor? No, it was. Fervor. People are, people are writing paragraphs. I know people are passionate about that, and <laughs> that's so cool. Does. But check this out. The political debates were going on on your Facebook page. Right. Somebody writes this. Harold Spaulding writes, why don't you go back to Canada, oh. jerk? Oh. Okay, wow. see, and then somebody else writes, you know, people are writing about, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, Lisa Nevling, oh, brother, people sure can get their panties in a bunch. I'm just wondering what, oh, and then I probably pissed people off even more, and I said, I am, though, in favor of potato guns. Can you show that picture? <laughs> <laughs> a potato gun you push into a potato which definitely just pissed them off and it and it it, it you, then you snap off a little tiny like um pellet a racer sized pellet of potato in it and it's single action pump and it shoots a little piece of potato out so i put that so so lisa nelding writes oh brother people sure can't get their panties in a bunch i'm just wondering what a potato gun is smiley face p.s let's not forget the first amendment freedom of speech so if I should be like the gun owners preach that they're allowed to have their guns because of what it says in the in the in the Constitution, Constitution. right? Mm -hmm. So I should be able to say that. Why people went insane? No, you have to go back to Canada. You I have Cougar. to go back to Canada. Wow. And then Molly Gibbs writes, "I guess you can shoot the armed guy breaking into your house with a potato gun. Please don't rely on stenographers, quotes media for your information." All I know is the last time I looked at. Deaths from gun statistics. Canada versus United States. There's no competition. Mm -hmm. I'm really curious to hear what everybody out there has to say. And you know where you can go. Facebook.com slash No, You don't want to. Don't, don't spark this I, up. What? I want to know what people think. If they I, agree with you or not. I feel like you. you I don't need them to agree with me. I'm, listen, I'm not saying. Already. Tell us if, we're, if you agree with us so we can tell you you're an idiot or not. I'm just saying let us know. What do you mean? We want oh, people so, talking so, yeah. about things. Didn't you not just say tell people if you agree with us or no, not? Just go to. Okay. Sorry. Go to Facebook and talk about it. Okay. There you go. You can do that. There you go. I don't, want to, I don't want people fighting on Facebook when they should just be watching a happy 
cooking show. Uh, hey, you're, because the, you're the mom, one who put the because, quote up. Because or... Kelly, my wife, I refer to her as mom. <laughs> I know. Who's not here tonight, gets on my ass when I argue like I did the other night with Max and Lynn and Jordan was here about noise that distracts me during the live cast. She says people come home from work and they want to relax and they just want to have a fun time. And when I yell at somebody for eating those freaking Cheetos too loud and distracting me, she goes, that's not fun anymore. I watched that back last night, actually. What'd you think? It was pretty vicious, man. But I mean, here's the thing. It started and it stopped. It wasn't like you were cranky the whole time. I, I don't think I was. He got a little a little testy for a second. I don't I know. You know what's the worst, man? When I'm sitting in that chair behind you, yeah. and then you're talking to Kel, and Kel's talking to you, and I'm just kind of in the middle, and you're like, so, Lynn, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> right. And right, I sat right, here, right. it was like maybe 7.30. I was like, um. Ma- Max had left, and Kelly and I are arguing about this. And I go, Lynn, what do you think? Oh, there's, no, no. And then goes, there's no way he can Lynn, have. Yeah, Lynn just goes. There's, yeah. No, there's no good way to answer uh, that. <laughs> Lynn absolutely um, takes the Switzerland position in that whole thing. I'm, I'm with you, Lynn. I was the same way with Sam and Michelle. I usually just sit back and <laughs> let those two do the, the battle Do there. the fighting. Yeah, yeah. Shannon tells all. <laughs> Sam the cooking guy. That's what it is. Uh, last night, so you know I've been doing some stuff for uh, Grocery Outlet. Shannon and I, in fact, shot some videos that will be showing up on their website and Facebook, whatever, coming up. But last night was a media night at this new grocery outlet in downtown San Diego in the, ga- in the uh, East Village. And so they invite a, they invite a whole bunch of media. So between the media and, and a handful of uh, grocery outlet special guests, there's 25, 26 people. And so the idea is they go in, they do some whatever stuff in the store and, and understand what grocery outlet's all about because it's a... It's an extreme grocer. They shop opportunistically. The prices are crazy. And I've talked about them and blah, blah, blah. So, and then they would come into the back of the store, like the warehouse part. And I would be there with a few people and I would cook for this group of 25 people. And I'm telling you this because A, it was super hot back there. (laughs) I don't like being hot. I don't like being hot. Twice during the night, I left the cooking area and I went into their giant walk-in freezer. Oh, nice. It's like, it's like twice the size, two and a half times the size of this kitchen behind me. And I just stood there like this and reveled in the gloriousness of a, what, it, what is a freezer? 30 what? A little, a little less two than degrees? 30, 30 degrees? It's a little less than 30, I think, right? Yeah. I don't know, something or like that. I, just, I loved it. And by the way, it's a nice walk-in freezer. Mm. But here's the cool part. So I cooked for 26 people. I was prepared to cook for 30, so I had enough food for 30. All of the food that I bought came from that East Village grocery outlet store, 10th and Market. So so they could write it off as a business expense. (laughs) When we got to the store... Aaron and I walked around. We got all of our groceries in one cart, took it to one of the registers, and then uh, Steve, one of the owners of the store, rang it all up because they had to have a tape with the price and, you know, all that stuff. He comes up to me partway through the night, and he goes, I thought you'd like to know how much you spent for the food tonight. I go, I'd love to know that. Because you spent $86. I go, what? For how many people? He goes, you spent $86, and you're feeding 20, I think it was 26 people. Here's what I made. Wow. I made mashed potato tacos. There you are. There I am. Look at me. With the girls? Me, Aaron, and Suzanne. I see salmon. Do you see the color of my face? How, see how hot I am? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and do you see the size of my stomach? I'm working on that. Oh. No, that, that's just your shirt. Man. Okay, that's what it was. <laughs> mashed potato tacos, salt and pepper shrimp, um, cedar plank salmon, mm. sausage pasta. Oh. <sighs> Whoa, you we've mean done that. Saucy right? Posse? Saucy Posse, we call it in our house. Sounds a little juvenile. The saucy Posse. Have we posse, done that, though? On. Have we done that? Not the sausage not. pasta on the show? No. Okay, we will. Uh, honestly, one of the best things ever. Uh, and this little waffle, uh, ice cream, pancake syrup, uh, crunchy peanut thing, a dessert. Mm. Mm. Everybody had more than enough food. 26 people, and we had extra of everything because I'd prepped for 30, which means cooking for 35 whatever because you always have to make extra that we gave to their staff 86 bucks 
Wow. Not including the wine that the grocery outlet uh, people uh, brought right from the store. 86 bucks. You tell me how you do that most other uh, supermarkets. And I will say you can't. No, you couldn't. You can't. No way. It's insane. It's insane. Anyway, it's a cool spot. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm trying to eat better. I'm at the store today. I'm buying some groceries. And I buy this. I feel... Ugh, you're rubbing again. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why. Hold on. Let me just check this while I'm here. Boom. (laughs) No boom. Kaboom. Oh, we want a boom. Oh, is that lavash? No. Uh, no. I, have I talked about these before? And I'm not talking about necessarily this particular brand of these things. They're just, they're multi-grain um, Wraps. flat bread things. Oh. But here, look, here, here's the side shot. See, look how thin they are. Yeah. Okay, so they're pretty thin, but they're this big. Sorry. This is part of your diet? So look at They're this big. That's so if doing. you scramble an egg or two and put it in here and roll it up and have it like that, or even just a little bit of cheese with a little bit of you know, turkey in here and grill it or whatever, it's like a little mini pizza. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. And I like this. So I bought these because I haven't had them for a while. But as I'm standing here looking at the bag, here's what the bag says. 100 calories each, which I think is not bad. High fiber, which of course is good. It's an excellent source of ALA omega-3, which has to sound good. I have no idea. (laughs) They put shit like that on here, and I'm like, oh, I'm all for that. (laughs) I've been wanting more ALA ALA. (laughs) omega-3 in my diet. (laughs) And it's got flax. And anything that's like that grainy thing that sounds horribly unhealthy, flax, you know is probably good for you and then it says 40 percent less net carbs what does that mean i have to start doing fucking calculations in my head now 40 percent less net Net carbs carbs. than a piece of bread than than a slice of bread not just 40 percent less carbs than a slice of bread net carbs what the hell is that supposed to mean to me that sucked at math and science and all that other shit? I didn't suck at math and I'm still trying to Any think idea about what, that what means? it means. Does anybody 40%. know what 40% less net carbs is supposed to mean? Maybe it means mean? that that entire bag has 40% less carbs than an entire no. loaf of bread? No. Maybe it's totally I think carbs. they're comparing each one to a slice of bread. But the net, net carbs... So I know there's gro- look. Someone I know there's yes. gross. Somebody let us know, please. I know there's gross and net, uh-huh. right? Gross dollars are bigger than net dollars, mm-hmm. correct? Mm-hmm. Unless you're magical. Unless you're magical, <laughs> and here's how I remember that: net, a net, a fishing net looks like this, mm-hmm. right? So that means that a fishing net means that things go through the holes. Mm-hmm. So once it goes through the holes, it becomes less than what it started with. <laughs> that's my little, yeah. that's yeah. my little thing. Net is less because shit goes through the holes. <laughs> gross dollars. If a company has a million dollars in gross sales, their net sales after, you know, they pay taxes, which might be $200,000, hmm. right? Their net, whatever. That's my number. Sam, the economics so I know guy. That, I know that net is less but what is for less net carb? Please, mm-hmm. they shouldn't be doing that. They're, this is tricking me somehow. I looked at this and I go, I'm going to buy it, but I feel like they're fucking with me, and this is tricking me somehow. Somehow, this is actually worse than I think it is. Look at what Lynn's on to calculate. This How is to calculate Becky Winters, net carbs. actually. <laughs> <laughs> to calculate, Becky Winters. Yeah, to calculate the net or effective carbohydrate content foods, subtract the number of grams of fiber from the number of grams of carbohydrate. Oh. For example. <laughs> I'm not even reading. See, here, is this a good, is this a, see, I know it sounds like it's a good thing, but I believe probably somehow they've added the word net because it's, if it, because it, they can't say it 40% benefits. less carbs. Yeah, it benefits them somehow to throw that one word in there that is subtle. And we, it, right, and we see 40% less yeah. and then carbs. Mm-hmm. 
and nobody knows what the fuck to do with the word net, <laughs> so they just assume it's a it's a bonus. How about when they how about when they do this? Like flax. Like I imagine I have to have flax in my <laughs> world, and I got it now. And I've also got ALA omega three. Whatever the hell that is. <laughs> How Whatever. about okay? How about when they put <laughs> something like, uh, let's say they put fifty percent less sugar per serving, but then they have like seventy-five servings in the thing. Yeah, that's the other thing you have to look at. Yeah, you if, have to look at how many. If you look at those, um, like, look, here's big energy drinks. Right. They have like seventy-five grams of sugar in them. It's terrible. Okay, check this out. Here's an interesting thing. I wondered about this. Sorry, I'm rubbing. That's okay. Just means you're working hard, dude. Your mom's rubbing. <laughs> Whoa! She's probably watching right now. Oh. My mom loves this show, man. How can you do that? Sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Okay, so look, we're just gonna do a little comparison here. <laughs> just wondering, was any of this on the agenda for tonight? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay, so the the flat out flat bread, which has a uh, hundred calories. So one of these. One of these that I showed you is two and a half grams of fat and 100 calories, okay? I'm not even going to do the sodium and all the other junk in there. Two and a half grams of fat, 100 calories, 17 grams of carbs. One of these little corn tortillas, these little corn flour tortillas that I'm super in love with these days because it's a nice little combination. One of these is 90 calories, uh, one gram of fat. This was two and a half. So there's more fat here than in one of these, though it's half the size. So that would make sense. And 14 grams of carbohydrates. You're losing me. Well, okay, I mean, hold on. Yeah, look at the carbs. Wait, just look at this. So look at these big giant pieces of sourdough bread that I imagined Yum. would be the worst thing ever. 150 calories in <coughs> half a slice. What? That's a oh, see, wow, well, that's a scam, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, what that's the? It. They're tricking fuck. you. That's like those soup cans that you see. It's like a, Wait. it's like one serving, but it's only half of the. Yeah. It's like a they friend. say there's 13 servings per package, but a serving size is half a slice. Huh? Wait, what? There's more than 13 half slices in there. <clears throat> well, I think they're kind of going with the fuller slices. Okay, this is too confusing. But what we need is. We need somebody to sort the nutrition is okay. Back. So basically, what some people have been saying on Facebook is that, like, the fiber offsets the carbs. So if you want to have forty percent less net carbs, just yeah. like crank the fiber. And so, we would say that. Wait, net, say that once more. So you can have a lot of carbs in the thing, but if you also have a lot of fiber, yeah, the net because of the offset, the net carbs is lower, right? So if you have like, let's just say thirty grams of carbs and then twenty grams of fiber, the the net carbs is ten grams of carbs. So that could Dude, be... Dude, my, my head hurts. I, <laughs> that's what I get from Facebook, and I'm, I'm basically scanning it. So but should there know. not be some system that I know they have to put... See, they have to put this nutritional information on here. But where they really get you is the serving size. Yeah. How many servings per container. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's where you have to be really careful, because that's the thing that's going to just throw you right off the, the health train. I remember one time when I ate the blue box craft mac and cheese. Yeah. And it's, mm. I think it's like, it the, actually, wait, the tall, thin one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then like, you know, you read the nutrition facts and it actually looks kind of decent. And until you realize it's like four servings in that one box. Exactly. Right. And you yeah. downed all four yourself yeah, because you're, like, you're a, uh, I did that with Velveeta Mac <laughs> the other night. <laughs> By the way, in one of the videos that got sent, I think. You mean one of our contests? The contest. Yeah. The somebody somebody says something to Lynn, and maybe it was another video. I can't remember. I have to take a look. I feel like I wrote the note somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. What are we looking for? Or what are you looking for? No, no, no. I'm looking for what I... Th somebody referred to you as LL. Oh, yes. Long Lynn? That's, Long Lynn. Yeah, that's... No, uh, I like that it's gone from Long Lynn. Now it's LL. just LL for people. Liz Lemon. So I've gone no. from Lynn to Chief to Long Lynn right. to LL. Baby Yao also was in there for a while. Baby Yao was on. definitely in there for a while. He retired. He's no longer That's true. relevant, I guess. Hey, whatever happened to uh, that other uh, Lin guy? What? Uh, oh, Jeremy? Jeremy Lin. Houston Rockets, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but is he... Is he uh, 
Like he had that that you know crazy stellar breakout five games and then he's amazingly rich now actually he is uh, he's no he, he has a giant backloaded contract in his last year he's going to be making close to like what 20 something mil yeah, hey gosh. can we invite the say hello to the mother who's back yeah, in the she just came in look who's here what's up she has no idea i don't think anything's working hi <laughs> everything's working oh okay she doesn't have headphones can you hook her uh, up oh yeah we'll get her sorry guys i got home sooner than i thought hi okay. hi baby how are you People good ask i'm just you. logging on okay Who's log here? on you're good everybody be glad to see you uh while you're doing that i'll take a minute to talk about uh fixtures living and something that they have there that i do not have here and i want so pay attention to fixtures living people I think I'd be able to talk about Mr. Steam a lot better if I had one. <laughs> they specialize in therapeutic steam and shower systems. They're amazing. Uh, my friend Dave has one of their systems in his shower at home. He swears by it. They've been making them in the United States for 50 years. And um, it says they make their stuff for discerning homeowners. I don't think that you have to be a discerning homeowner just to want a shower with steam in it. Whoa, whoa. Look at this picture. Yeah. Is that in the living room? Or it looks like something? it. Oh, what the <laughs> hell? No, no, no. it no, looks no, like no, it's no. just Giant attached bathroom. to the end of a bedroom. Wait, but wait a second. You see the bottom left picture with the blue towels? Click yeah. on that. Yeah. You know what else they make? Racks. Towel racks? Yeah, <laughs> not just towel racks. You know what those are? Really Warm cool towel steam. racks. Those are Powered? heated. Heated no towel way. racks. Steam goes through those racks that. you hang your towels oh, you smart. get out of the shower on a chilly february morning and that towel is oh so nice around your body <laughs> that's amazing you ever been in the hospital and they bring you um they bring you warm sheets warm warm blankies yep you ever had that they go to a special uh heated box out in the hallway when you're in the hospital or you're the, the emer I've been in the emergency ward a couple of times. I had uh, kidney stones. Oh, <laughs> I'll ow. tell that story one night. It's gross. How about this? Are, are San Diego and Southern California people who, people who have grown up here also probably don't have that much experience with it, but in cold climates, the bathrooms are heated. The bathroom like floors. Like on the East Coast, well, the no. bathroom uh, Max, floors. Max, and that is, uh, Max, Uncle Randy's house in Vancouver, Yeah. all the main floors were oh, heated. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That's I crazy. San Diego. She Sorry? Has heated bathroom floors. Really? Here. See, I don't think it's necessary. No. I would say, no, I don't would think that the here. floors are necessary, but the Mr. Steam heated towel rack that you can get at Fixtures Living in San Diego, Costa Mesa, Rancho mm -hmm. Mirage, go look at them at fixturesliving.com or the Facebook. The Facebook. Like their page. Forward slash Fixtures Living. <laughs> like their page. You could see amazing quality crap like that. I didn't mean to say crap. Yeah, you can't say crap. You always say but it. But when I, I use it, you know... In a loving way. Lovingly. Thank you, Shannon. All right. So I could cook something, and I've got to get this out of the, uh, the deal before it blows. Hey, I'm happy to hop in the kitchen. You ready? Should we go in there? Yeah, let's right, do it. You ready? It. Yep. I'm All ready. right. So look, here's the deal. I'm gonna take this thing out. Ideally, you wanna get this. There you go, Shannon can see that. Whoa. Thing. Ideally, you wanna take this thing out uh, and let it cool, you know. You could let it cool and then put it in the fridge. We're just gonna put it here for now. Oh, that's yeah. right. Did you guys Damn, have shots surprised. before? No. Oh. Well, oh, I'm, I'm going back in emails or in the posting and it says, oh, no, now they've corrupted Shannon, too. Did you see her go in for the second shot? I'm thinking you guys oh, are shooting tequila. Mom, I saw that. <laughs> oh, Shannon went and... <laughs> what was look, so here's it? the thing. At, so look, at, at some point before the show starts, I make myself a cocktail and then I usually say, who wants something? And because Lynn's usually back there on the computer, whatever, and doing his thing and setting up. I, may, I didn't make you anything tonight, dude. Do you want something? Not uh, But Shannon, who's over in that general area, just hanging out, I say, you want something? She's like, yeah. I go, so come make it. You've got arms and legs, and I'm not your servant. So they saw Shannon coming over and making. 
That's Making funny. Cocktails. Yeah, I made a vodka cranberry, and Sam's like, that looks very red. I'm like, okay, I'll top it off with another. It was way flesh. redder. Than, <laughs> oh, okay, got it. <laughs> way redder than we would ever make it. Okay, here's what we're doing. Uh, three ingredient night. So this is a dessert, and this thing could be um, either an appetizer or a main course, as long as you were serving, you know, like some other kind of stuff with it. It's a little sort of Asian-y inspired thing and it is I'm gonna stir fry some shrimp ingredient number one and they're peeled and deveined you know I like to cook them with the shells on sometimes these ones are already peeled and two other ingredients because I'm only allowed three Japanese mayo I've been telling you forever to get it so don't don't not get it and one of my favorite things of all time sweet chili sauce these three items right here are going to make a majestic uh, little thing to eat. <laughs> there you go. All right, so all we need now, turn the pan on. And I get to use oil, I get to use a lubricant, doesn't count. And I can use salt and pepper, that doesn't count either. Everybody cool with that? Yes, yes. we're cool with that, man. Just making sure. Oh, Shannon says it does count. No. no, 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 no. Count. Are you kidding? Those basic pantry items are absolutely fine to use. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't make it without it. Salt, pepper, salt, pepper, and oil. I know, but it's still an ingredient. We're not listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. You have to be able to let those things go. Come, come on. Okay. Gee, Shannon. <laughs> I mean, Shannon's there's only one. so many one-ingredient recipes in the world. Oh. <laughs> So many one ingredient hot recipes in the world. So we let this get hot. So I'm gonna talk about we all for a second uh, because this is an important distinction. Um, what I'm gonna use in here now is uh, just basic peanut oil because it lets, uh, it has a higher smoking point and it doesn't really give any flavor, which is completely the opposite of what we olives, California, certified olive oils are. They're extra virgin olive oils. And an extra virgin olive oil is about flavor. It's about an interesting flavor profile, whether it's a regular olive oil or whether it's a, a Meyer lemon one or one that has a little spice in it or herbs in it. Uh, Weolive.com that you can go to that have 10 stores in and around Southern California you can shop online at weolive.com and you can buy amazing olive oils that will make the difference between something being good and something being tremendous. The simple little fish we did Monday night on three ingredient first night, the roasted red peppers in the pan with the parsley on top of that little, what was it, swai, swai, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. swai, it was so good. But it went from so good to really crazy good when we added this little quarantina olive oil over the top of it, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Just to richen it up a little bit. So hold on, I gotta start the, I gotta get the smoke going here. Have a great selection too. Yeah, so Absolutely. in conclusion. In conclusion, that's why, I, I'm not using it here because I don't want flavor from the oil. Mm -hmm. I want the flavor coming from this. It's not the right place. You're not always gonna use a crazy good uh, extra virgin olive oil, but when you want one, you want to go to We Olive because they've got a selection like you can't believe. And the best thing to do, just go there and let them teach you about olive oil. They want to do that. And no, the real best part is oh, go online, weolive.com, hit the little shop online button, and when you get asked for the promo code, you put my name in, Sam, S A M, and you get 10% off anything that you order. Yeah. We all have .com, promo code Sam. All right, we all here we go. Com, here we go. Here, all right, Sam. right. Here we go. Super hot pan, right? A little bit of this uh, peanut oil in here. We'll add the shrimp. Yeah. And I was draining them. And look at, they've been in five seconds, and look at the colors changing already, okay? Heats up. Nice, we're gonna get this. A little bit of salt, which has allowed Shannon 
So when you make salt and pepper shrimp, is that salt. considered a one item? No. A one ingredient? Food? Shannon, we're allowed, look at when I laid out the rules for this comp for this week. Yeah. I said salt and pepper are allowed. Any any you go to there's cookbooks out there that are certain number of ingredient books, and they will say they don't count. They don't count pantry items. So it's uh, there. But I only don't count salt, pepper, and oil. Right? Okay. John Erickson believes with Shannon. <laughs> believes in Shannon. Thanks, well, you know what? Go to Shannon. <laughs> John Erickson and Shannon can get their own live cast. <laughs> and let them cut those out, and they can do like no ingredient week and see how well that works out for them. I can't wait to do this when it's cooler, but. <laughs> so you won't look at, these guys are almost done. Shan, can you show these? They're really like about a minute away from being done. So now here's what we want to add. It seems crazy, but we're going to add Japanese mayo like this. Whoa. I know. Whoa. Just wait, oh, just wait. Chili. And then with <laughs> sweet right. chili sauce. This is really good, though. I just had it. Where did you ever have this recipe? Sorry? Where did you have this recipe? We did this on a, there was a TV show, maybe you've heard of it, it's called <laughs> Sam the Cooking Guy. Really? Yes, and it was on there, and it was really super delicious. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Shan, for one sec. I don't slack off and shoot TV all okay, day. Okay, so look at, there's a, a lot of Chinese restaurants have something called honey walnut shrimp. You have heard of that? It looks exactly like it. Except they're a little, they're a little sort of less moist than this. Mm -hmm. That's what she said? They're no? sticky. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, and there's walnuts <laughs> on them and stuff. But these, <laughs> see, I want to add like a little cilantro or a little gr green onion. Of course, I'm in love with green onion, but I'm not going to. Okay, so these guys are done. Can you look at the monitor real quick? Yes. Somebody posted that on your oh, Facebook the other what day. What is that? Yeah, and where do I get that? Sure. We'll get it for you. Oh my god. Belated birthday present from the Livecast crew. Oh my god. That's incredible. Okay, so check these out now. So wow. really like, So three ingredients, right? You should smell over here, boys. Oh, I can smell from back here. This is me. insanely this is good. good. Yeah, this is cool. Sandy says about dusting your shrimp and cornstarch because it makes them nice and crispy. Right. Mm. That's yummy. So look it. Any day of the week, if this wasn't a competition, sorry, if it wasn't a competition in the sense that I couldn't use anything more than three ingredients, counting salt, pepper, <laughs> uh, I would put something green on them because they'd be really great. But this guy by itself, it's beautiful. The sweet chili sauce, you can get it almost any supermarket here in Southern California. Yep. Oh, oh my God. Here's Shannon, have this. Let me I came you. in right in time. Brent Davis is asking where you can get the Japanese mayo. Um, try, am if you're having trouble in your city, try Amazon because we found it on there before. Yeah, it's just, ex I just find mm. it's a little more expensive. How good is that, Shannon? Oh, oh, oh. It's amazing, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's a crazy good shrimp. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. but wait. Don't stop there. This. Here's what it's all about. I want you to see this, this crazy thing. Okay, so here we go. Look at, what? see that? See this color? Wow. It looks like wow, caramel. It's gonna be tough. That's exactly what we just made, baby. We just made, holy sh This is cool. Nathan says he was watching live in the San Francisco airport about to board his plane. That's so oh, cool. Wow. Look at this. Look at. Wow. That is so cool. Can you believe what that's done? Now imagine what you could do with this. You could take this, you could add it to ice cream. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's gonna be, I fear it's gonna be so hot. You could make dessert empanadas. And it's gonna stick to the roof of your mouth. Oh God, don't do it. Don't, oh God, oh, uh, don't do it. And the back of your teeth. Uh. It's <laughs> yeah. Okay. You have no idea. How, okay, Shannon, I'm just going to give you a little, a little piece right I'm here. I'm just going to burn your mouth, <laughs> Shannon. I know, Shannon's got the best job ever. <laughs> okay, just blow on it a little bit. I'm telling you, so this is what we would do. And you put this in the fridge, 
And then it gets much more firm. Oh, wow. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's magic. It's magic. <laughs> it really How is. much more do you need? After dinner, you bring out a can of this yeah. and a bunch of spoons for your guests. And you just dip it and you go like this. Mm. It's got to oh be a campfire God. thing, right? You know what tastes good? If you put those in little dishes and then put, use your little blowtorch to like crystallize the pop. I don't like sweet things. Most people know that. If I didn't have dessert ever again, I wouldn't give a shit. But <laughs> this, oh my God, it's so good. Wow. It's been, oh. <coughs> wow, wait, one more of these. It's been a really successful week. Yes. And you know what next week is, Kelly? Oh, oh am I getting it? That's what she said. <laughs> I know what it is. God. <laughs> no, am I getting salad week? Salad week. Ooh. Yay! Finally! And I don't know what night it will be, but <laughs> Kelly, Kelly will make her Caesar salad dressing. My which Caesar is a, salad which is dressing? A, I, which is a... No? I haven't actually made that dressing in like 15 years. Okay, I don't it's mean that. So what's one. the dressing that you make every... I don't it's mean Caesar. specialty Okay, balsamic. Kelly makes a dressing oh, that best. we die for in this house. So, uh, people ask for her to come and cook all the time. She's going to. Wednesday night. Good? Wednesday night, Kelly will be here. She will make her dressing with me. But it's salad week next week. Thank you for being here. Tell your friends we're this far away from having our own Roku channel. Right, Wait, Max? yes, yes. And I want to take just a second to talk about how important the Telefriend program is. The Telefriend program. We have... Wait. We want you guys to tell friends. Tell all of your friends. Tell one friend that's your job. We don't make you guys pay anything for this. We want to continue bringing it to you guys completely free. That's a good free. point. Nobody else, just do it. Tell your friends, all right? That's Thank good. You. That's a good point. Yes. Uh, the more people that watch, the more uh, of this nonsense programming we can bring you absolutely free. So yeah. Your only job this weekend is to tell a friend. That's it. That's right. That's all and, we ask. And, and uh, tell people, go to the website, look at the pictures, look at the things you want to make. Mm -hmm. Don't eat the same food all the time, ladies and gentlemen. Make something different. One, two, three, four ingredients. You got two things out of it. This whole week we used three, six, nine, ten ingredients. And we had one, two, three, well, so much food. Mm -hmm. All right? We'll see you Monday. Thanks for being here. Have a fun weekend. See ya.